Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Good evening. Good evening, IG. Good evening, Facebook. It is 6.59. I'm getting so much better at this on-time thing. <laughs> so I'm going to give a second for you guys to come on. going to give a second. IG is telling followers that I've started a live video. Hold on. We're telling more followers to join your video. All right, IG. Okay. All right. So while IG do, hey Jillian, what's up, lady? All right. So it's seven o'clock, and I am on time. Feeling good about this on time thing. Like I'm, I'm doing much better with being on time. All right. So we're gonna get started. Gonna get started. Seven o'clock. I like to try to be consistent. Um, like I said, getting better at this getting on time thing. So when you come on, do me a favor, say hello, shout out something so I'll know who's on because I'm not always able to see it. This phone is on Instagram. This phone is on Facebook. I'm trying to kind of couple and bring this thing together. Um, several people have said to me, hey, you need to make this form a little bit bigger. You need to go to YouTube or whatever, but I'm not quite there yet, but I figured if I go, if I use Instagram and Facebook, it'll kind of build the audience, and then I guess I can go over to YouTube um, eventually. All right, so I'm going to get started. I always go ahead and get started because, as you all know, um, every video, every camp of conversation that I've done is posted at the end on the top of the page. So it'll be pinned to the top, so you can always go by, go back by at any point in time and watch the video. Um, hey, Mika, you can always go back at any point in time and watch the video, make your comments, all of that good stuff, okay? All right, so welcome to Real Life Relationship Growth. For those of you that are here for the first time, um, and those of you have that haven't, you know, really had time to kind of stay or whatever, let me tell you what this is about. So, as you can see, it says Camp of Conversations, right? So, Camp of Conversations came from, um, I bought a fifth wheel camper, because black folks camp too. Love it. I bought a fifth wheel camper, and one day I was like, I'm going to do some conversation pieces while I'm sitting in the camper. But, mind you, it was summertime when that started. So the camp, of course, not being connected to any shore power, not any power, it was cool to be in there then because the weather wasn't too hot. I had daylight longer. But now, hey, Shawanda, now, of course, wintertime seasons have changed, no light. So I'm here in my living room. So welcome to Camp of Conversations on my couch. All right? So this is a group, again, on Real Life Relationship Growth. Hey, Ash. Um, the group is called Real Life Relationship Growth. The purpose of this group is for any adult, any adult who is single, who is dating, who is courting, who is married, or who is divorced. There's a good chance that you've fallen into one of those categories. That describes you in some type of way. So, let me start out by saying this, because I always start out this way and I say this. I am not a relationship expert. I don't claim to be. I don't proclaim to be. Never have, never will. I'm a, not a relationship expert. I am just a black woman in this world living and doing the damn thing. Because I'm enjoying myself. I'm loving life. I am in such a space and place that I have, I can't ever say that I've been, and I'm loving it. I'm loving, loving, loving. I will be 50 in a few weeks. My birthday is March the 8th. I will be 50. Some of you have gotten invites um, that weekend. Woo, it's going to be something. So, like, there are, like, three events planned for that weekend. Having a silent party. Those of y'all haven't been to a silent party, yo, it is so fun. You got the headphones. If you have not RSVP'd, if you're on my friends list, you still can. You can do that tonight if you want to. And then I have a more intimate something with my family members. Our theme is Chucks and Tucks. So 
I can't speak too much on that, but you all will see pictures after that is over. That's the second thing. So, hey, let's get started. Let's get started. So, we take topics. I take topics from things that we've discussed at some point on the page or usually within that week. This is where the topics come from. And the topics come from you all. Always, always, I want to give a big shout out to the brothers. The men are very active on this page, and I'm so appreciative of it. Because usually men don't interact a lot, um, especially groups like this, when you're talking about relationships and things like that. You don't always get a lot of male participation. But ladies and gentlemen, I get inboxed quite a bit, quite a bit, from the brothers. Like, ooh, can you post this? Or, ooh, I think that's that'll be a good topic or whatever. And they don't always like to come on and, you know, say it's them or post or whatever. And that's fine. And that's fine. I don't have a problem with putting it up. So everything you see on this page, and there is a lot. It's I post on here every day, maybe up to three to four times a day. I'm trying to slow that down because you guys miss things when I post so much. But I have so much. Like, there's so much sent to me. And there's so many people putting this in my ear or, or sending memes or sending funny things. So I love, love, love it. I appreciate I appreciate the brothers. I appreciate the sister too. But ladies, y'all get what I'm talking about, I'm sure. So this post actually, this was one of mine. So just to let you know, everything that I post again is not my brainchild. It's not my situation. It's not my thought process. It comes from you guys. And I, I appreciate it. This um, I can't really say came up because of, uh, you know, something that I'm, I was going through, I'm going through it. it I, sometimes I just have topics pop up in my head and sometimes I see topics other places and it kind of stems a like, Ooh, let me see what we get with that on the page. So this topic was posted early in the week. Um, and it says question. Why do men tend to marry or get into another relationship quicker than women after a breakup? Also, should and can the new woman trust he is truly ready to move on? Why do men tend to marry and get into new relationships quicker than women do after a breakup? And ladies, can can if, if you if you are the next person that he is getting involved with, can you trust that the brother is really ready to move on? So that's a thought that I had. Um, Y'all know that I am really pretty transparent on here. And I'm tr pretty transparent in life. And let me say this. I do have personal private things and relationships and things going on in my life. Trust and believe, y'all don't know everything, and you shouldn't know everything. But I truly believe that we are here in life for one another. I truly believe that what I have gone through, or I'm going through, or what you have gone through, or are going through, can be a testament and a help to someone else. Um, everyone takes their own road. Everyone takes their thing. I have this thing that I always say. I take every situation, every experience, everything that I've gone through, and I use it in some type of way. Either I use it for my growth, and it grows me in wisdom and knowledge, or I throw it away, point blank period. If it doesn't apply, if it doesn't work, I toss it, it's gone. So that's it, all right. So because I did post this, I want to read some of the responses that came in um, when I posted it on yesterday and please feel free to chime in to, you know, type your thoughts, give your feedback. Again, it will be posted and pinned to the top of the group page, real life relationship growth on Facebook. Um, you can go back at any point in time and watch. You can go back at any point in time and comment and share whatever you want to do. All right, y'all forgive me for the back and forth look. I'm trying to make sure I get each one. Okay, so y'all remember the question, right? Why do men move on, get into new relationships quicker than women after a breakup? 
Um, Almeida said, if they have been married before, I'm seeing that they cannot deal with the woman being gone and not doing what he was once receiving with her. A man should be comfortable with doing all this without a woman. I'm just saying. That was Almina, Almeida. That was her thoughts. And she gave a few other, but I wanna um I wanna move on a little bit and give everybody. Okay, and give everybody. Um, I can't pronounce this young lady's name, but she gonna kill me. <laughs> Kalamadam. Kalo Kalodam. Shalodam. Shalom down, shalom down. I apologize. <laughs> she says, in my opinion, a lot of men don't take the time to heal and will rush into another relationship because they want both the comforts and conveniences that having a significant other provides, even if it's the wrong significant other. Huh. I like that one. I definitely check that one. So here's one of my brothers, Reggie. Reggie said, so many different things play into this. From my own experience as a man and from what other men tell me, it depends on how that previous relationship was and ended. Different circumstances, different reasons for that action. Environment plays a part into this as well. Ha. Environment plays a part into this as well. That's what one of the brothers said. Cassandra, y'all, Cassandra's my dog. Like, she, Cassandra is straight up, like, raw with it, ready. <laughs> I love her. She's one of my brat sisters. She said, my experience is a nigga can't live the life they are, they accustomed to without help after you. My experience is a man can't live the life they are accustomed to without help after you. Mmm. 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 All right, Miss Jillian. Miss Jillian had a lot to say, and I love, love, loved her comment. Um, Jillian said, I think men love the benefits of a woman. So once they lose a woman, they have to find another to continue to receive benefits. He wants the physical intimacy. He wants the labor of a woman, cooking, cleaning, supporting his endeavors, pouring into any kids that they may have. Sometimes they settle right out of the gate until that until they level up to what they want. Some men are always looking, but they are going to keep a friend close by until he finds someone else. Ha! I would suggest that people take the time to get to know people before investing time, money, and feelings. Good suggestion. A new woman needs to learn how to ask the right questions, sit back and observe before determining if he is ready for a relationship. Sometimes a man can be single for a long time and still not be ready. Has he healed from those past relationships? Is he working on himself to be a better human? Does he believe in therapy? How does he talk about the women in his past? Is he always talking about the women in his past? Or the previous relationship? <laughs> Yo, Jillian. My girl had a mouthful, and I love it. Like, her response was, I mean, she had a lot of on-target points. She had a lot of on target points that I would agree with. I must say that I would agree with. So I am trying to get, let me get to the page. Let me get here because if there are any responses, I want to make sure I'm not missing them and I'm able to get them. All right, where is the live? Huh. Let's see. All right. I don't want, I want to make sure I don't miss guys. Okay. Here it is. All right. Okay. Hey, Bridget. See, I didn't even see that until I came here. Hey, Bridget. Bridget said I agree with that. 
I've always wondered why. Hello. Hey, Bridget. All right. So. Okay. All right. Let me yeah. turn this volume down. Okay. There we go. All right. All right, y'all. Be with me. Trying to do this thing right. Okay. So. Hmm. Those were a lot of good points. Like, those were a lot of good points. Um, again, so, you know, I'm pretty transparent, right? So, I've had this situation. I've had this situation personally. My ex um, did not take any time to move into another relationship. But, based on the situation, based on how that moved and how that went, he didn't really stay with that next relationship either. So sometimes I feel like men move on so quickly because they need something there. They need someone there. Um, the emotional ties and the emotional baggage that they carry and they carry and they move and they move tends to build and create issues and problems for others. Others meaning the other women. Jillian made a really, really good point when she said, ask questions, um, sit back and watch, like just sit back and watch and observe. And usually when you sit back and watch and observe, you're going to get answers that you're looking for. You're going to get answers that you need, things that you may not even thought of. And sometimes the best thing to do is be quiet and sit back and watch. But trying to understand why men move on so fast. When I came up with this topic and I read it out loud to my daughter, who's 24, um, she was, she, her comment was because they so used to their mamas taking care of them. Men are so used to their mamas taking care of them. A woman has always taken care of them. So when they move into a relationship, um, they somewhat are looking again for another woman to care for them and to take care of them. So when the relationship ends that they are in, I'm sorry, when the relationship ends that they are in and they don't have, and they don't take the time to look at what they need and what they want and to be independent on their own, they tend to jump to another one. Now, let's truth be told. There are men out there that use women. There are narcissistic men who latch on and attach to women for what they can benefit from and what they can get. And when they stop getting what they need or they can't get what they intended, they move on to someone else. They move on to someone else. Um, Bridget said, I really think it's because they don't want to be lonely. That's a good point. That's a good point. Mika said, men move on faster to another relationship because they are not criticized like women are. Girl, their friends push them into, into it and the family accepts the new female, especially if he's an only child or only son. Girl, that is a good point, Mika. I, I didn't even think about that one. I didn't even think about that one. You, you're right. Men are not criticized like women. When a woman breaks up, when a relationship ends, and a woman is in a new relationship quick, and she's in a relationship soon, everybody has something to say. Like, mm, she was probably already dealing with him, and she was probably already cheating, or... She just looking for somebody to take care of her. Was she just with that one or whatever? Mika, you are so right. But let's clue in on something about women. Ladies, we know this. We know this. When a relationship ends, it is very, very likely that we were already gone before we actually left. Women don't tend to leave good men. Women don't tend to leave when, or they call her a hoe. Exactly. Bridget, exactly. 
Women don't tend to leave where they feel safe, where they feel secure, with, where they feel that they are being taken care of, where they feel that they can grow emotionally and be themselves. Women don't, women don't leave those type situations. We just don't. We don't leave the good brother. We don't. Now, I'm not saying that it is not possible that a woman has not left a good brother. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, I personally don't know any of my girlfriends, any of my sisters, going on the almost 50 years I've been living, who have left a man who is hands down taking care of her. Like, not just financially. So, when a woman moves on, please trust and believe she was already packed up mentally before she packed up physically. That's just kind of what it is. But yeah, I've seen situations and known situations where the man and the woman are in a relationship, they're, they, they're cheating or whatever, or, you know, or they're trying to figure it out, and they're already in a relationship, and then... Um, it comes out or whatever, and the woman is attacked. Her character is attacked. Um, you know, she like Bridget said, she's called a hoe. She's called all kind of things. And, and it's like she's shunned. Like she got the scarlet letter, right? Like she got the scarlet letter. But the man, hey, Reggie, but the man, nobody says anything. Nobody talks about this brother. Nobody says, oh, wait a minute. You were cheating or you, you, you know, you, your family, you left your family. What? Nobody really says that about the man. Now we may be like, oh, he's sorry. He ain't no good or whatever. But publicly, like, like Mika said, the woman is the one that's ostracized. The woman is the one that's looked at in a negative sense and negative light. So that's another point. Men eat, move on easily because nobody's going to say nothing. Now, his mom, if she right, may say something. Um, you know, he may have a sister, grandmother, whatever, or even a brother that may say, hey, man, you you know, you, you, you could have done that better or take the time to heal and work on yourself. You know, they may have some that do that. But society as a whole is not going to really um, talk about that man and make him feel like he is wrong for what he's doing. Hey, son. He's wrong. Hey, me, you made it. Again, it's your second week, girl. <laughs> uh, I know one lady that did. Bridget was saying she knows one lady that did, that left a, a good man. Yeah, it's, it's possible. It's possible, but more than likely, there was something going on on a personal level. I'm not making an excuse because, like I said, women do leave good men. But on average, you're not going to find that. You're not going to find that. Uh, but I, oh, see, <laughs> she said, but I think she's crazy. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. She probably has some mental um, stuff going on and... You know, no relationship is good to be in when you're mentally unstable. No relationship is good to be in when you are mentally unstable. All right, here I go, because this is my plug every week, y'all. Counseling. If I could be the poster child, I promise you, I would be. Counseling is a wonderful, wonderful, great thing. And I think men in this situation... Because they hop and jump from here to here to here, that doesn't mean if a brother moves from woman to woman to woman that he's a man. It doesn't mean that he feels great and good about himself. A lot of times that can be an indication of low self-esteem in men as well. Because failure in one place can push you to another and you continue the same cycle. The same cycle. Hey, Mike! You continue the same cycle. Mika said, this is why so many women stay in relationships as long as they do. That security, the stability, until she just can't take it anymore. The mental, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all moving a little faster. Than that. The mental has been saying we need to leave, but the heart is saying stay girl. 
he does this. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Um, he does this. He does that. He'll come back around. So we wait and wait. But once that heart and mind line up, it's done. Listen, I've heard all my life, right? When a woman is fed up, when she is truly done, that's it. There is not much you can say at all. Hey, Mike, there is not much you can say at all. Um, Bridget said, I agree with getting counseling. You can say counseling is so needed. It is. It is. It's so needed. That, that brother that's moving from place to place, from woman to woman, he needs some counseling. Because that's an indication. So, you know, there are indications different for men and women. Low self-esteem shows up in different ways um, based on um, your gender. It, it does. Because, again, society has different viewpoints for us different in different ways. So a man that has, again, several sex partners, a man that has this woman and that woman and, and, and break up with one and he got another one already and, and, and it doesn't take him long to move on to another, you know, you know, the fellas almost like locker room talk, yo, you the man and, and oh, you got another one already and blah, blah, blah. And he's chest pumping up his chest and he feeling like the big man. But in all actuality, that's a small man. A small man. A man that cannot be content and functioning alone before he truly knows who he is. And before, thank you, lady. Before he truly knows who he is and before he can sustain a healthy relationship, that is a good man. Now, mind you, everybody doesn't want to be in a relationship. Again, this group, single, we talking to singles as well. You know, everyone does not want to be in a relationship. And that's fine. You have to know what's best for you. You have to know how to move according to what works for you. But let me say this. If you are single, be open and honest. Y'all know, again, I'm an advocate for dating several people. Now, dating several people does not mean you screwing everybody. It does not mean that um, you're lying to the other people. Like, my mother told us years ago, and I've spoken on this before. My mother told us years ago to date, have fun, enjoy, figure out what you like and who you want. Now, mind you, none of us did it. I have four siblings, and every last one of us ended up marrying our first loves. Um, but she literally, she did. She used to tell us, date around, see who you want to be with, know what you want. Cause you don't even know yourself yet when you first start dating. So I'm all for now. <laughs> well, not just now, but some years ago, I came to the realization that that's how I enjoy life. When I got divorced from my children's father, and again, I speak great guy. Never speak down about. Now, I may curse him out time or two or to the kids. I'd be like, your daddy get on my nerve. But he's a great guy. I really appreciate him. Um, But when I got divorced from him, I was young when we got married. So I didn't have the chance and the time to really have the experiences my mom was suggesting we have. So I did date around. I did have several friends. It's like, you know, you have someone... For whatever, like if you like going to movies and you got a friend that likes going to movies, that's who you call. If you have an event to go to, like if you invited to a wedding, you call that friend or whatever. Or if you go, hey, Miss France. So, or if you, um, you know, different people to do different things. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Why? When you're honest. There's nothing wrong with that. That was a topic that was posted the other day as well. Like, and that was a thought I had as well. That was one of my, one of my brainchilds, one of my thoughts. And it was pretty much saying, um, if you're, you know, something about, you can't cheat if you're not in a relationship. But where the problem comes in at is when you're not honest about how you move. 
if you have someone thinking and feeling that you all are an item and y'all are something, and then you're not honest with that person about what you're doing and how you're doing. Now, understand, understand, if you are single, it is nobody's business what you do. You're single. And I, you know, I had this thing I said to my girlfriends. Unless you and that brother have had that come to Jesus meeting, unless y'all have sat down and said, hey, I'm with you, you with me, we're together, we're going to be committed, we're going to watch this thing grow and it's just going to be us, unless y'all had that conversation, ladies, stop calling men dogs, this, that, saying they no good or whatever, because you thought, you thought you was his one and only. If the brother did not say to you, hey girl, it's you. <laughs> if he didn't say that, if he didn't say that, hey, if he did not say that, and if you did not say that, because there's not one deciding person in a situation in a relationship. If y'all didn't say that, then chances are he's seeing someone else. Chances are she's seeing someone else. We grown. If you can't do that and be honest, like I always say, grown people don't have to lie. You don't have to lie about how you moving because that's your business. That's your business. All right. So our topic, why do men move quicker than women after a relationship ends. And ladies, can you really trust if you're the second one, if you're the one he's moving on to, can you really trust that he is ready and he is for you? Can you trust it? Me personally, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. I'm not, I'm going to say I can't I'm I'm not going to trust that you're ready. If you got if you separated um a week ago or a month ago and you already like this with me and we didn't like meet previously, not that we were cheating and we were with each other, but we didn't have any, you know, anything going on or whatever. And you already like this? Let me tell you what I've learned in the last year. I've learned the real definition of a narcissist. I learned the real definition of what a narcissistic person looks like, how they move, how they make you feel, how they... I, I've learned that definition. So, truth be told, I'm probably going to think you somewhat of a narcissist. I mean, you know, there's... Top, there's things and definitions that come with that. But um, that, that'll be a thought, right? Bridget said, women should take their time with a man if it's, if it's known he just got out of a relationship. Exactly. Exactly. Bridget Mika, yes. Same, I now know a narcissist personally as well. I lived with one. Didn't even know it. Because I, you know, but now I know. Take it, use it, grow from it, or throw it away. So I look at it. Um, but yeah, we should take our time. And and you know what? We 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 got equal rights going on here. We should. Men, same thing. Same thing. But this is a this the, the topic says men. But just put that plug in. Men, same thing. If she has moved on so quickly. She just left him. He just left her house. Or she just left his house. Just, you you got to sit back and watch that process. She may be fine. She may be this and she may be that. And and and. But you better better get what's up, what's in here, and understand it, and understand it. So knowing what you need to do taking your time getting to know that person watching how they move listening to their conversation is he talking about her like jillian mentioned 
Is he talking about her all the time? How he talks about her? Um, I mean, is there an indication? Now, I have met men who straight up was like, you would have no clue. You would have no thought that they were in a relationship or just ended a relationship. You have no clue and no thought until you see, hey, Janae, until you see them posted up or you see them out or all of a sudden they married. Oh, it's like, what the? This brother was just in my inbox. This brother was just talking to me. This brother was just. So it pays to take our time and get to know and watch. There is that. Listen. There are things that we don't want to give up in life. There are adjustments that we have to make. And it's hard to give someone up that you truly feel in and you want to be with or whatever. Um, but it's a true statement and true fact. Patience is a virtue. And if you have that virtue, that virtue will pay off. We always want things so quick. We want it now. We meet somebody and we're lonely and we're up in age and we feel like, you know what, I got to do this now. This could be my last opportunity. This, you know, I, I don't know when this is going to happen or come up again. This is where people tend to end up getting hurt. And truth be told, you can only blame yourself when you open up like that and don't take the time to get to know and see what's really, really going on. Because our first and foremost focus should be us love yourself enough to be patient with what you're doing and who you're doing it with be patient love yourself through the process y'all know i always preach self-love because i didn't always have it once you get it woo, like unstoppable on fire and it's not it's uh oh i almost put a thing on somebody's and it's not a thing of being conceited or full of yourself. It's a thing of having confidence and learning how special you are. Like, I have always known, been told, you a child of the king. Like, you know, you are special in God's eyes. But truth be told, that sounds generic. It sounds generic until you believe it and learn it and feel it for yourself. Because everybody hears, God loves you. God created you in his image, and he did, and he does. But until you personally feel that, nothing your mother, your father, your grandmother, your, your pastor, your, your, your confidant, your count, nothing that people tell you makes a difference until you feel it and know it for yourself. So, again, plug for counseling. Take the time and get some self-help, right? All right. So, like, I read quite a few comments before we even got started. Um, and, hey, lady, I read quite a few comments um, before we got started in the discussion. And I thought they were really, really good. And they, they hit some good points. Um, they hit some good points. Let's see. I want to make sure I don't miss anyone because I see y'all popping in. Okay. Reggie, I believe, was the one that made our, made the comment when it was originally posted. Reggie hanging out. Hey. Um, he's hanging out. So, you know, from the male perspective, like my brother commented earlier, he was like, ooh, I'm going to be on for this one. And I see he's not. But from a male perspective, again, if you type in later, it's going to be pinned. We want to come back and read a male's perspective. Um, why do y'all attach and move on so quickly out of a relationship or out of a marriage? How is it so easy for you all to move on? And I don't think it's always necessarily um, a negative thing. Understand. I don't think it's always necessarily a negative thing. I think it depends on, like Reggie said, it depends on the situation. It depends on how you move. So everyone who's done this, every man who's done this, trust and believe and understand 
No one is downing you. Your situation is your situation. But as a whole, when we look at it, um, the thought process is, like, the question is, like, why they move on so fast? It's been said that because they're lonely. It's been said because they need to be taken care of. Um, they're so used to that. It's been said that some are just using um, a woman for what he can benefit and what he can get. And then he moves on to the next one when he's tired of that. When he's tired of that, um, that's been said. So y'all give me y'all thoughts and y'all opinions. We are at 740. The plan is to make this to 730. But <laughs> 30 minutes. Okay. So Mike said, Mike just popped in. Not all men move on quickly. Some people just love being in a relationship. Thank you, brother. That's another thought. Some people just love being in a relationship. So, Mike, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Because I get it, and that's a good thought. So, my question is, if some people just love being in a relationship, the person that they're dealing with, can they can they truly have a, a commitment? Can they truly be... What's the word I'm looking for? Y'all help me out. Because Mike said all men move on. Not all men move on quickly. Some people just love being in a relationship. So wouldn't that just be dating, Mike? Because when I think of a relationship, um, there are all types of relationships. We have all types of relationships. We have relationships with our um, parents. We have relationships with our siblings. We have relationships with our co-workers. There are so many different type relationships. But this relationship we're talking about, more than likely, I'm sure, falls under a romantic level. It comes from a romantic place. It comes from a building place. So if the person that you're just enjoying hopping through, do they know you're just hopping through? Is there a, a purpose is your purpose, Mike, I'm asking, is the purpose for the man that does that, is their purpose just to enjoy themselves and not even be concerned about the emotions? And how do you detach your emotions? Like, you know, I believe that you don't always know who you're going to fall for, who you're going to fall in love with. Like you meet someone and y'all just click and you never expect that you're going to want to be with that person on that level. The expectation is not there. You never think that'll happen and it happens. So for the man that moves on quickly and just loves being in a relationship, what does that do to the person receiving on the other end? Especially if they don't know. Here it is again. That word starts with an H. Honesty. Honesty. People need to know what they're getting into. People need to know what options they have. People need to know um, all the facts, all the information. So they can make an educated decision for themselves. When you deal with someone and you're not honest with them, it's not fair. It's not fair. Find someone, because there are people, like he said, there are women that would fit the bill for that type of man that Mike is talking about. The man that just loves being in a relationship. There are women that just love being in a relationship, but they don't want to commit to one person. So how do we avoid hurting someone in that scenario. Because, you know, that could be called selfish. That could be an indication of just being selfish. Are we being selfish in that sense? Like, are we, are, are we just thinking about us? And I do think in that scenario, that man is just thinking about himself. 
He's not looking to be attached. Again, it's okay to not want to be attached as long as you're honest. You, you just got to be honest. All right, y'all. I thought this was a good topic. I thought it was a good topic. Um, I'm trying to hold this again to 30 minutes. Um, but Mike actually popped up right when I was kind of ending saying that. And I didn't want to leave. Oh, wait a minute. All right. See, Mika said, wait a minute. And then Mike came back. All right, hold on. Mika said, I was going to ask, what type of relationship? Right. I was going to ask, what type of relationship? Because if he if he's just needing company, someone to go out with, run errands with, chat with, or a warm body in his bed, there's a difference. You have to be honest of what type of relationship you want. Yes, Mika. Exactly. Mike came back and said, some folks have to go through more than one experience before they learn how to truly understand <clears throat> excuse me, what being in a relationship is about. Good and bad? Ha! I agree. I agree, Mike. And I, I wholeheartedly agree with what Mika said. Honesty. Honesty. You have to be honest about what it is that you want. Because there are, again, people of the opposite sex, there are people that will engage with you just like that. They have no interest in being tied down <clears throat> and getting married. They have no interest in being, in doing that. So I don't know. Y'all could y'all could make a club. We not attached. <laughs> That's what we gonna call it. <laughs> we not attached. You clearly understand and know by the title. <laughs> We're not attached, what that means. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Bridget. Bridget, give us some clapping hands, some applause. I appreciate it. So, okay, y'all. So, please keep your topics coming. Um, trying, to, trying to plug them all in. Have so many. Um, we haven't done anything kind of really light lately. Everything we've been discussing has been kind of heavy. But... It's hard to just plan it like that, y'all, because thank you, Mike. Love you, too. It's hard to just plan it like that because sometimes things come up at the last minute and it just impresses upon my sweet little heart that we need to talk about it or we can talk about it. You know, some things just push a little bit harder than others. So keep your topics coming. If I don't, if you don't see it come around like soon or, or right away, Please know that I'm, I'm rotating things, okay? And we'll come across and we'll get. If you really, really, really need that, inbox me and say, please, can we do this topic tonight, this Friday? And I'll be like, yeah, we can do that topic. Because again, what you have gone through in life, someone else may be going through. What you know and what helps you may help someone else. Take what works, take what you need, take what sustains you and builds you and is conducive to your growth and use that thing. Everything else, throw it away. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I'm, I'm really enjoying doing this. This is the second Friday that I've seen my son come on. My son is 30, y'all. I have a 30-year-old. He a grown, grown man. And y'all, ladies, he fine. I know I'm going to say that because he mine, but for real. If y'all have seen pictures, my brother is fine. My baby boy is fine. Okay. All right. So, I appreciate you being on Ra. Um, Love you. Hope to see you soon. Bridget said he is. <laughs> he get it from his mama. All right, y'all, let me go, because y'all know me. I'll keep going. And again, I have not figured out quite how to end the live on IG. I think it's this X. So I'm going to end IG first, and then I'll come back to Facebook. Love you guys. See y'all next week. Ooh, is it here? It is there. I'm going to figure that out. 
Bam, let's share. Okay, I gotta put a topic on that. All right, Facebook, love y'all. See y'all later. Bye, Bridget.